All right, welcome to Quick Show. My name is Greg Matson. I am your host. My guest today is John Hewitt. He is the founder and owner of Cardio Miracle. As many of you know, Cardio Miracle is a sponsor of Quick Show. Um, if you've gone through and seen my video and seen my story about why I chose to work with Cardio Miracle and, and John Hewlett, then you'll know that it has been a big impact in my life uh, in terms of my health. There are several reasons that I like the product. And I'm going to be doing several different episodes on health because while I'm not an expert at health, I do have a lot of experience through numerous different, uh, well, health issues that I've had to deal with since I was a kid. And Cardio Miracle helps to relieve a number of those things and, and support a number of the bodily systems that I have that uh, I can actually measure. And, and have actually seen a difference on this. So, John, welcome to the program. I want to talk a little bit about nitric oxide and its benefits, and uh, which are, are really, uh, there's a plethora of benefits to this. Uh, and, and then I want to talk about the other ingredients in Cardio Miracle and what they're able to do. Um, what got you started with putting together this product and how long have you been doing this? Well, Greg, first of all, it's a real honor to be on with you. I've looked forward to the chance that we could visit uh, on, on doing a video like this and I admire greatly your work and what you're doing. My, of course, my wife, when she hears your voice, she says, man, that guy's got a great voice. He's, he <laughs> ought to be on uh, television. So you've accomplished some great things. And I really, really uh, respect and support your effort in the many things you're trying to do and bringing truth and transparency to gospel principles, church membership, et cetera. I, I, I grew up in a very, very uh, devout uh, pioneer family. My great-grandmother was the first female organist of the, uh, sorry, I've tried to turn off my phone. John, you can maybe help me with that. Um, I'm not very technical, so I got a new phone and I don't even know how to turn it off, so I apologize. <laughs> my uh, my great-grandmother was the first female organist of the Tabernacle Choir. And her daughter was the soloist of the choir in the 20s. My grandfather was the president of the choir for 20 some odd years and, and actually is the one who made the album that won the Emmy Award and, and took the choir all over the world and everything else. So I come from, a bit, in fact, I'm in my grandfather's historical cabin, which I've renovated oh. in the mountains of Utah where I live. So that's what you see behind me is, is part of a hundred year old cabin that where I now live up on the North Fork of the Provo River. But what happened with me, Greg, is I was in the financial business like yourself. I had a very successful insurance, estate planning, uh, business succession type of planning business. And from that business uh, over the years, I didn't take very good care of myself. And, uh, and I also had a family history. I spoke with my grandfather. He died at 66. My father died at 62. My uncle died at 57. Uh, all of heart related ailments. And so when I was in my 50s, I was kind of in the next candidate up for those types of things. And when you talked about the fact that you're a little bit of an expert on health issues, I'm, I'm an expert on uh, weight loss because I've been trying to lose weight for 35 years. And so you know, things that we have issues with often become something important to us. Well, I had a heart incident. I uh, went in uh, after that for uh, a routine uh, appendectomy, didn't go very well, clipped a vein, came home, mm -hmm. almost died, uh, went back to the emergency room, had several misdiagnoses of things. And uh, from that experience, I became a little bit leery about going to the hospital and uh, those situations. And I've since learned that the number three cause of death in, in our world is medical procedures and proper properly prescribed prescriptions. And so with that being the third leading cause of death, there's some concern in doing that. So I, they wanted to, after my uh, complications for my appendectomy, do open heart surgery. And I said, no, thank you. Uh, and so that led me to research in 2007, the, uh, the alternative. And the alternative had come out somewhat was nitric oxide. And nitric oxide had won the Nobel Prize in medicine in 1998, which I didn't know and uh, discovered that from my research that 
there were actually nutritional supplements that created nitric oxide, like when you're a teenager, that helped uh, heal the arterial wall from atherosclerosis, and it helped your blood flow, and it helped oxygen in your tissue. You through, what, what is atherosclerosis for everybody? Atherosclerosis, uh, we often refer to as harden. There's arterial sclerosis, which is hardening of the artery, and atherosclerosis is the plaque buildup from the inflamed wall of the capillary or the artery. So it's the plaque or the buildup that happens inside. So when I found that there was a science attached to uh, reversing that condition, that was a nutrient, nutritious, and uh, an ingredients that like uh, amino acids, arginine, citrulline, you hear about super beets, uh, spinach, kale, all of those uh, types of foods or, or, or amino acids help stimulate your body to create nitric oxide. Nitric oxide helps clean and heal your arterial wall. It helps fight inflammation in the artery. And since I knew I was in a bit of trouble, I started uh, taking a supplement. It, it helped all of my blood pressure, triglycerides, cholesterol ratio, and I was shocked. And I thought, you know what? This is really important. This is saving my life. And so I essentially walked away from my very successful multi-million dollar financial practice to become uh, now over the last 15 years, the Johnny Appleseed of nitric oxide. <laughs> okay, great. So, so you obviously have a passion for this. You, you've you've uh, um, got this product now being distributed pretty widely at this point. There are several studies that have been done on this. And this is something that is very important to me. I have had a lot of health issues in my life. And so I started looking to alternative issues when I was a teenager. I had to, I was put in the hospital several times. Um, I, I'd go in with infections and I'd walk out with worse infections. Um, I'd be on IVs for a week of antibiotics. Uh, you know, just all of these problems that were happening as I was a teenager. I'm like, what, you know, even me at that age, I started thinking, okay, these guys don't have all the answers, certainly not for me. And, and I've got to find the answer. So my mom and I started looking at other options, right? And, and, and what we could do. And so you look around and when you're starting to look around, especially back in the late seventies, early eighties, you know, it's, it's, you're going to find a lot of different things. And, and, you know, there's, there's the, the level of the spectrum where you have, where you have quackery, where it's just kind of like, okay, this is, I understand I need to try new things and be alternative, but this is a little <laughs> much here. And this is a little much. Now this over here, I can tell works. And look, here's the science that's backing this up. And that's what I feel about Cardio Miracle, right? Is number one, I actually use this product every day. And whether Cardio Miracle was a sponsor of mine or not, I would use it every day because I know of the benefits, actual measurable benefits that I have. Number two is the science that is behind it. Can you talk a little bit more about the studies that have been done sure. on nitric oxide and the additional ingredients that are found in Cardio Miracle? Happy to. The, the, the main thing is that nitric oxide was discovered in the actually the mid 80s and in the late 90s, it won the Nobel Prize. Since that time, there's been approaching 200,000 clinical studies and research papers on the benefits of nitric oxide. So it's extremely well researched. In fact, you can take almost any illness, any chronic disease, and, and any condition and, and go online and search nitric oxide and that condition like diabetes or chronic fatigue or Lyme's or whatever, and you will see studies on nitric oxide and virtually all of them say that it, it's beneficial or that those diseases are somewhat present because of a lack of nitric oxide, not enough nitric oxide in either the blood or the tissue. When I got involved, I came from a place where I walked away from a multi-million dollar annual income. And so, you know, getting in the nutrition business and direct selling wasn't really my goal uh, in life. Uh, I was already, you know, one of the top financial planners in the country, but I wanted to save lives. And I thought, you know, what good is my life if I'm dead and what good is the benefit of others? And I saw my father, my father died in his sleep of heart failure when he was 62 years old. So I wanted to live to see my grandkids. I wanted to be a part of the, the second coming. I wanted to fulfill my patriarchal blessing promises. And so I 
took it pretty serious. And when I found that nitric oxide, a supplement, uh, was with a fine company, uh, one actually domiciled in, in Utah and one of the top uh, herb and nutritional companies in, in the world, they had a great product and it turned my health around. And so I became one of their top advocates and distributors, but I was a little different than most. I wasn't doing it because I needed a job or needed an extra thousand a month. I was giving up a seven figure income. And so within a couple of years, I recreated the seven figure income by being a zealot for this science, because the more I learned about it, the more miracles I saw. And yet then I tried to get the company to change their culture, their financial model. And they got kind of tired of my advice on telling them how to run the company because I'd had a lot of different business experience. And I said, you know, if you're not committed 100% to having the finest product in the world, then I need to do it myself. And so I walked away again. So seven, eight years ago, I walked away from a, a, another seven figure income and said, I guess I have to do this on my own because I genuinely believe, and I apologize for those who may view this as, you know, um, um, nutritional religious nonsense, but I genuinely believe the nitric oxide was given to us to help heal and save the hearts of mankind. I genuinely believe that. And I didn't, I believed it 15 years ago, but over the last two years, I really believe it because if, if we have ever lived in a time where men's hearts are failing them and women's hearts are failing them, it's now. And one of the interesting ironies, Greg, is that stress and fear are the two biggest ways the body depletes its nitric oxide and its vitamin D3. And so what kind of world have we lived in the last couple of years? Pretty darn stressful. And there's a lot of fear mongering going out there. So all of our nitric oxide and vitamin D is being depleted. And so you need to supplement as you get older to increase those things. And so we put, so I essentially formulated from my, at that time, uh, eight years of experience, seven years of experience and meeting with the top experts in the world, continued to meet with PhDs, nutritionists, uh, chiropractors, uh, chemists, uh, flavoring people to try to come up with the finest product in the world. Because if I was going to do it, it's either go big or go home. I, I wasn't interested in a me too product. And so I put the finest ingredients in the world, sparing no expense, and then tried to make it affordable by selling it direct to the public. So essentially our formula is between, you know, $1.35 and $2 uh, a serving, where if you were to go out and try to put the ingredients together yourself and make it yourself, it costs you about eight to $10 a serving to make it yourself. Okay. So what more about the studies? I, 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 I want to know about the science more behind it. What okay. you, you have the, uh, I know that there's the Malinsky report that, that we that we've referred to and referred to often on that one. There are others that are focused on other ingredients within because uh, that's really what you're getting, right? I mean, it, it's not the cheapest right. product that's going to be out there, but it's the best product that's out there because of the ingredients that are packed into yeah. this and the quality of what's in there, which right. is a very important thing because I can get rid of other supplements, right? That uh, yeah. that I don't need. But what can what else can you tell us about the Malinsky report and, and others that are backing this up with science um, with, with the nitric oxide and the other ingredients in the product? Great question. The, the thing that's interesting is that I learned in the last uh, decade how important vitamin D3 was. And about five years ago, uh, Tadeusz Malinsky, who's kind of the Albert Einstein or the Louis Pasteur of our era, he, he discovered the link and connection to vitamin D and heart disease. And he published a study on it. So I contacted him because I felt that a nitric oxide, uh, a product needed to have significant vitamin D. And I believe that vitamin D would be enhanced if you combined it with nitric oxide at the same time. So I contacted the University of Ohio, where he's the chair of the biochemistry department, and I sent him an email and uh, he responded. And his only email he responded to, his assistant said, because he was so intrigued that I said I had a nitric oxide product that I believe that would extend nitric oxide 24 hours a day, where most nitric oxide products extend it for about two to four hours. So he responded to me. And so I, I flew back, drove to Athens, uh, Ohio, and sat down with him. And I said, I would like to have you test my product in your lab 
at, with your instruments, which were things he invented. And I said, and see if this, if what I believe is true, that this extends nitric oxide 24 hours a day. And if the vitamin D absorption is what I think it is. And he laughed at me and he says, I don't think you know what you're talking about. And I said, well, I probably don't, but I'm willing to pay for it, even though we were a new company. And I donated to the university's foundation to, to author a study. And he says, well, don't be disappointed. I said, I want to know. I mean, I'm, I'm staking my livelihood on this. And 30 days later, he called me and he says, I am stunned. This is remarkable. I've never seen a product that at the cellular level stimulates nitric oxide for over 24 hours. He said, and in addition, he discovered. And so a year later, he published a paper published in an international scientific journal with his name. Now, this is a person who's published hundreds of papers and is arguably the most respected expert in the world on nitric oxide and vitamin D research at the cellular level. And, um, and he said, this also reduces the free radical damage that too much nitric oxide can create, like for a bodybuilder or in the early days when people saw that they could get a pump or increase their blood flow. You know, all the bodybuilders ran out and took handfuls of arginine uh, as a supplement or as a pre-workout. And uh, they were increasing their nitric oxide in their blood flow, but they're creating free radicals in their body. So one of the key parts of his study that no one has ever, ever, ever done is showed that we reduce actually the free radical. I didn't even know what the free radical was. That's where I was coming from. But he came back and he said, well, you're a genius and you don't know it because this product extends nitric oxide 24 hours or more and it reduces the free radical. So once we published that study, I, I wanted to move to clinical human trials, but they're very complex to do and they're very difficult. And I ran across um, a, a company that does artificial intelligence. Now, again, I'm not a high tech guy, I'm, I'm 70 years old. And so I in, encountered this company that essentially processes 15 million pieces of data with your data. And they took my ingredient list. They looked at the sourcing of the ingredients. They looked at the type of the ingredient. They then broke that down into 770 mechanisms of action that those ingredients would have on the body. And then they compared it with the entire database of the world on clinical research based upon vitamins, minerals, and ingredients and the impact that would have on disease. And we just published our first paper on atherosclerosis from that artificial intelligence. And what's interesting, Greg, is artificial intelligence is now supplanting in many ways in the medical community as a stronger science than a human trial or double-blind studies that have always been sort of the, you know, the most important thing. They're now saying the science trumps that because there's no margin of error. I mean, they're essentially sifting through all of the data. And they published the paper and basically said, Cardio Miracle, specifically named in the study with the ingredient list, uh, has a dramatic impact on clogging of the arteries or atherosclerosis in preventing, in reversing, and, uh, and making sure that the complications from that, which are pretty easy to know what the complications from that would be for a diabetic, it would be things like, um, you know, macular degeneration, it would be um, dementia, it would be uh, circulation in the feet and the legs, you know, the, what we saw happen to my old friend, Larry Miller uh, from his diabetes, all those types of things that this has, this was published two weeks ago on the impact that it has on atherosclerosis. And then we've I would already engaged them to do the next study, which was how was the impact on vitamin D absorption? Because I would suspect that now 75% of your listeners all would say, oh, well, vitamin D is a great thing. Well, 10 years ago, nobody knew anything about vitamin D. It was almost a mystery until Dr. Oz went on television with Dr. Mercola and said, hey, everyone needs vitamin D. And then all of a sudden, you know, vitamin D is now, they, but only in the last couple of years are physicians even testing for it with the blood work. That's how far behind I believe they were on the nutritional science. The vitamin D is now the number one searched vitamin aspect on the internet. 
uh, and it's commonly known that it's important. And the majority of chronic illness is tied to a deficiency in vitamin D. But right next to that, and actually more important, is a deficiency in nitric oxide. But nitric oxide hasn't had the same publicity that vitamin D3 has had. So the new study coming out talks about our vitamin D absorption, which is second to none. And so if somebody is taking a vitamin D supplement, you know, my wife was taking 10,000 units a day, barely moved the needle. She went on Cardio Miracle. She was able to double her vitamin D, you know, within less than a year. Shocking results. So the absorption, well, the paper coming out, which we already have the paper, it just hasn't been published in a, in a high ranked uh, critical journal. But the, the study basically said that our ingredients cause what I would call a synergistic effect of almost like a, a centrifuge that they feed off each other. So you get more vitamin D, you get more nitric oxide, more vitamin D, more nitric oxide, on and on and on through that process. And the scientist from Austria, who when I asked him, I, I told him last October, I said, I really believe that Cardio Miracle has the best absorption of vitamin D3 in the world. And he laughed at me and he, he laughed at me and he said, I don't, you don't know what you're talking about. Two weeks later, after doing his first research, he sent me an email apologizing. He said, this is unbelievable. I had no idea that vitamin D with nitric oxide would have this kind of effect. So we're excited about that paper. And it also is gonna talk about the fact that they have named every one of the 2,700 autoimmune diseases. And this is in the paper, in the science. And Cardio Miracle has a positive impact on all of the symptoms and complications of every one of those 2,700 degrees. That's their science. That's not me saying it. That's what the paper says. And then they also talked about its impact on uh, the pandemic and uh, the virus or the bioweapon or whatever the heck it is that we've been dealing with the last couple of years and its impact on supporting the immune system which regardless of where you stand on everything that we've experienced the last two and a half years of craziness in our world, everyone knows that you should have a stronger immune system. And that's at the basis of this second paper that's going to be published shortly. That's great. You know, what I did in my research when I went through this, and, and, and I do research all of these things quite a bit, um, you know, you can go to NIH.gov, for example, the National Institute of Health, and there's three places they really focus on in their studies that they, uh, they write about and post on their website. You know, the first one is what you said, the immune system. It's a major issue for me. I have numerous autoimmune problems. So those 2,700 plus autoimmune diseases that you have, I have several of them. Uh, so it's a big, big issue for me. Uh, the second one was the blood flow uh, that they focus on, that, that the nitric oxide improves the blood flow. And the third one was looking at blood pressure, which again, is, very, is measurable for me. I mean, it is actually daily measurable for me to see the benefits of that uh, within there. So there are definitely science, a lot of science that's behind this. Now, I don't know, John, have you read anything about the uric acid studies uh, that go along with nitric Herdell? oxide? Well, uh, having been that I've, you know, been too short for my weight for a number of years and uh, don't eat the best diet. And when I go on a cruise, I, you know, go crazy, kind of maybe like you did the last couple of days. <laughs> uh, but uric acid is obviously uh, a sign of acidic, an acidic nature in the blood. And nitric oxide has a very, very profound impact on helping to dissipate it. Now, does that mean it solves everybody's gout problem? No, but it actually alleviates the buildup because it increases the lymphatic issue of helping strengthen the liver and the kidneys in helping to get rid of excess uric acid. So one of the things, Greg, that's really important, and, and you know, people may listen and they go, oh, yeah, the guy's trying to sell us up. Let me tell you, there's a much easier way to make a living than what I've done the last 15 years, believe me, but it works. And every day I get texts, I get emails, I get phone calls from people who say, Oh my goodness, this stuff works. I, I, everything, every disease imaginable. But if you go ahead and search engine up your particular issues, any issues, you'll see that it's always blood flow, oxygenated properly blood. And think about it. In the body, when cells replicate to the dreaded 
uh, tumors and abnormal cell replication issues, which is the number two cause of death. It's always an issue of too much carbon dioxide and not enough oxygen. And, and the Case Western University five years ago came out with a study that said nitric oxide is the third essential gas that helps regulate and balance oxygen and carbon dioxide. So that means you're replicating healthy cells. So people who are healthy say, well, I don't need it. Well, do you wanna have continued healthy cells? Or if you've had unhealthy cells in the past, do you wanna replace them with healthier cells? Well, then you need good oxygen. You need pure, clean blood that's being filtered by organs that are working and functioning better because their cap, see all organs are little balls of capillaries. So if those little balls of capillaries are atherosclerotic or clogged, they can't do their job well enough. That's why we see all kinds of things with people who have uh, GFR issues with their kidney disease, or we see diabetics. I mean, I, I went to a funeral of one of my dear friends the other day, he's a type one diabetic, and he knew me as a marketing and a sales and a, an insurance guy, and, and he never would believe me. Well, unfortunately, he went into and finally got a kidney transplant after being a type one for many years, and the transplant didn't work and he died. Uh, I have all kinds of people who have seen their GFRs uh, supported and remarkably do much better. Um, not me, I'm not, I, I'm just saying that that's what they told me. That's what they've shown me the results. Well, common sense would tell you that if you're healing inflammation in the smallest of the capillaries and in the coronary arteries, if you're healing that inflammation, if you're supporting the body's ability to get rid of the garbage through the lymphatic system, good things are gonna happen in your organs, good things are gonna happen in your cell replication and blood flow and oxygen to the tissue is like having water and a drip system in your garden or your lawn. Yeah. I'm I'm uh, I'm going to point you in a direction, John, that that I've gone down in a rabbit hole here with with research on uric acid, diabetes, and and with uh, cardiovascular disease, and it's really a fascinating thing because what happens, what the studies are showing now, and I've seen several of them. Uh, I, I I I subscribe to several uh, journals and 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 have the ability to go in and look at these studies and. Uh, but what it's showing now is that uric acid, it's not just the gout, but that the uric acid actually is affecting the cardiovascular diseases and diabetes and other things. And I don't know if you know who uh, uh, Dr. David uh, Perlmutter is, but he's the, he's the guy who wrote the book Grain Brain and uh, oh, yeah. you know, New York Times bestseller. Sure. And mm -hmm. anyway, he's really on this now. He just wrote a book called Drop Acid. <laughs> <laughs> which, which is uh, about dropping your uric acid. And he's saying, look, when you go to the doctor, even if you don't have gout, you need to get a uric acid test to see where it's at because it is affecting all of these other things. Well, what he brings up in the book and, and uh, elsewhere, what I've seen him speak is uh, these studies that I've looked at and pulled up that nitric oxide decreases uric acid through excretion and other means at the cellular level that then affect all of these other diseases. And, and there are numerous studies now, and it's becoming a very big thing. Just, just a, another place you ought to look at for some of these studies. Oh, and, you know what? Support so of the, the nitric oxide. Well, let me tell you, you're right on the money. And let me, let me just connect the dots. I'm not a biochemist. I'm not the smartest guy in the room, but I know a lot about connecting the dots with nitric oxide. And so because of that, here's the deal with uric acid. The reason gout is painful is because it's like little shards of glass that collect in the joints. Well, uric acid is what creates those little shards of glass type things, very sharp. So what do you think happens if you have too much uric acid going through your sensitive micro capillaries? They're like having a, a sword cutting their way through. So yes. you're, you're then creating these little, little cuts. And what does the body do? it sends in the red blood cells to patch the road. They're essentially fixing the potholes that are created by the uric acid. So uric acid, acidic blood, acidic water, acidic food, all contributes to inflammation, which all has an impact on the 
a smoothness and the health of the arterial wall of the capillaries, especially those micro capillaries. So when they're compromised, only bad things happen because then the body tries to repair that and then it clogs it off. And so now you're not getting any nutrients because the body sending its mechanism to patch the road. What we proved in our published study two weeks ago was this helps remove the patch in the road mm. and heals the artery underneath the patch the wall of the artery. And so the inflammatory uh, nightmare that's occurred, the Holocaust of the inflammation, the uric acid, the toxic waste, uh, in many cases, toxic medications, they're all damaging all of this roadway. And nitric oxide is the body's mechanism to heal that. But you stop producing maximum nitric oxide when you're in your mid 20s. So that's why you have, it's called aging. And so that's why supplementing, even if you're healthy with nitric oxide and absorbable vitamin D3 is going to have a dramatic impact on the health of that vascular system and avoiding that inflammatory condition or the little swords like the uric acid is essentially an analogy of what it's like. Yeah, well, and then this is great stuff. And I become very nerdy on these things and, and have been mm -hmm. because of, again, my, my background and what I've had to do. So this is really fun stuff for me. Um, anything else you wanted to add on Cardio Miracle before I, I, I go to one other subject? Well, one thing, just so your, your listeners know, uh, we have a money back guarantee. You can try it. We, uh, we stand by it. We have thousands of satisfied customers. We have the ultimate science of all time. And people feel a difference within a couple of days <laughs> in a lot of cases. I get phone calls, like I said. So I would say, you know, hey, and the other thing is, Greg, you spent a lot of time doing the good work, helping to illuminate truth and share things that you've done. I appreciate that. I've, I mean, when I, when I contacted you, you said, hey, I'm interested in looking at it. I have a, some personal things I'm, I'm interested in. He says, but I won't do anything until I do my own due diligence. So for those people out there, just understand, I approached Greg because we've had enormous uh, success with wonderful other uh, Latter-day Saints and other people who I, or, you know, I, I'm kind of attached to them. I mean, I could go sell this in India uh, and I'm going to at some point, but my focus is the House of Israel, thank you. So that's what I'm working on because I'm trying to, you know, I've saved myself and I'm trying to help save the lives of others and help improve their quality of life. Because I really believe that, that our mission and it, getting off of toxic medications, having unnecessary surgeries or surgeries that have complications, I think we can do our best work in preparing for the coming events of the times by being in our best possible health. I'm not, I don't go and do 50 minutes of exercise every day. I should. There's a lot of things I should do. This to me gives me a, an amazing thing. I'm on no medications and I'm kind of shocking people with my energy at 70 years old. I have 18 grandchildren that I love and care about. So we have a money back guarantee. We sponsored people that we believe in that are trying to help bring truth to people. And we're really grateful to be a part of what you're doing and offer a nice discount to those people who want to give it a try. I uh, appreciate that. You know, and you know, my, my approach on this is look, these are our, these are our temples and uh, our body is our temple. Uh, I don't think we treat it that way sometimes. Uh, and you need to think about how we treat the temples, right. And how clean they are, how we immaculately take care of the interior and the grounds and everything else. Those are temporal temples. These are eternal temples that we have. And, and so I think it's really important to focus on these things and, and understand that we need to be taking care of those temples to be able to improve our spirituality and productivity. All right. I want to go to one other subject here because you, you're, you're involved. This is a, a, an area that I have not um, stepped into very much, but I do have strong opinions on it. Um, you're involved with uh, a legal team that, that uh, uh, basically overturned the mask mandate and I, I want you to talk a little bit about that uh, and, and how that came about, why that was important to you, and uh, where we're at with that now. Thank you. Well, I, I am passionate about nitric oxide, and I'm passionate about our Constitution, and I'm very passionate about 
the fact that I believe the, the scriptures are clear, the Gadiatans are everywhere, and I believe strongly that the agency of man is under siege and has been since the beginning of the Garden of Eden or the preexistence. So I'm a huge, huge fighter. I'm a freedom fighter for agency and for personal liberty and personal choice. I happen to not think that the United States or the World Health Organization is the Ten Commandments or our direct revelation from God. I don't believe that. I believe they are, uh, in many cases, evil and conspiring men. Not all of them, not the whole system, not everything, but I believe in alternative solutions. I, you know, I read the stories of the people putting, you know, elm berry and, you know, in a wound and a healing. I, I believe that the Lord gave us common sense, gave us the word of wisdom. He gave us alternatives. And so as a part of that, I have been very concerned. And I, I you know, growing up, I, you and I were in the era where, where people were afraid if Ezra Taft Benson became president of the church because they thought he was too conservative because he was a, a flag-waving patriot. And I remember those conversations, hearing my parents and talking to them about them. And my father was in the, on the general board of the young men, and he actually traveled with Elder Benson one time. And Elder Benson confided to my father, first person coming from my father to me, he says, you know, I wish everyone liked my talks as much as they like yours, Brother Hewlett. He says, they turn themselves off when I start talking. He says, they don't know that when I was ordained an apostle, I was told that my primary mission was to defend the Constitution of the United States and its divine origin. That was my call from the prophet who ordained me to be an apostle. Hmm. Wow. Interesting. So I've always remembered. I've never that. heard that before. But that's a true story from my father to me, who traveled with him on a speaking assignment for two weeks in Alaska. So I remember that as clear as day. And I found it very interesting because I wasn't I wasn't a John Bircher. I wasn't an ultra conservative. I was a moderate conservative who grew up in a normal household. But everything I saw that President Benson talked about has come true. And I find it ir ironic that, that he's now the most quoted prophet in many of the manuals because everything he said comes true, has come true. Now, you know, Joseph Fielding Smith said that men would never go to the moon, said we shouldn't have a refrigerator. But Ezra Taft Benson said the Constitution was going to be in jeopardy. So the reality is, I believe that. I believe the scriptures. I believe what we read in the Book of Mormon. And I believe that our rights are being abridged by government, tyranny. I believe that there's a lot of things going on. And, and that more I look, the worse it gets. And so I have become a little bit passionate about it, along with my Johnny Appleseed of nitric oxide. But the reality is... I felt that I, somebody had to do something. And so I decided to take part of the revenues from our company and other resources to help fund the legal work to get to the bottom of what the heck has happened in our country the last two and a half years. And so we have hired the finest lawyers in the world to deal with antitrust law, that dealt with the biggest companies, because the, and, and we want to get to the truth, whatever the truth is. But it's, the truth is, is moving quickly in different directions. The goalposts are moving all the time. And so in the process, uh, because my product is widely received by some of the, the, the most notorious or the most famous or infamous freedom fighters in our country who all believe in nutritional health versus uh, big pharma, they all take my product and they all endorse my product. And so I'm in the middle of all of these patriots who are fighting for transparency, who are fighting for the health of the people to choose, who are fighting for real studies before things are imposed upon the uh, on citizens, that are fighting for common sense in having a world that, that functions and trying to find out, did, did this really come from a bat in a cave? Or was it released under uh, 15 patents that were filed 20 years before it was ever released? The patents are there. If you want to get serious about it, you can look at it. Uh, so I've helped to be a part of what's called prosecutenow.io or .com will get you there. And basically the purpose of that is to get the powers that be under oath, not in some grandstanding Senate he 
Senate trial or Senate hearing that goes nowhere with our political nonsense that we live under, but actually get them under oath and let them start pointing the finger at each other as to how and why and what this has happened because the, the narrative is unraveling as we speak. And there's lots of changes, there's lots of backtracking, there's lots of things. And I think, uh, so we're winning. Uh, we have cases in federal court that are basically challenging the uh, regulators who were basically telling doctors they couldn't treat their patients unless they followed certain guidelines. Uh, we think that's wrong. We think people should have a say. We think doctors should have a free say. We think nurses should be able to speak freely and be able to treat people and not have it imposed by people in Washington who we believe may have less than um, pure motives. Yeah. Okay. And so, and so your efforts here for one thing, I mean, so far have, have been instrumental in, in changing that mask mandate. Is that correct? Absolutely. And we're now, and, and the reason, and, and we're also part of the reason why everyone's having to start backing off of the six fit, the six feet and the, ma you know, not only the masking on airlines, but, you know, I mean, mandatory, anything, mandatory, anything is, is not the plan that we agreed to in the pre-existence and certainly not by Mammon or Babylon or whomever. I, I will take my chances uh, with the power of the priesthood, with good nutrition and, and properly uh, vetted medical care, not what somebody thinks should be mandated on the population. I think that's contrary to agency. And so I'm against that totally. Yeah. And, and again, for me, it's, it's, look, if you want to go get the jab, you know, or, or you want to get the boosters or anything else, fine. I mean, if you're going to pull your own information, you're going to do your own studies, you do what you want and you do what you think is best for you and your family. But to impose that on, on people is, is a real issue to me. And I've always said that, right. I, I, I don't believe that people should be forced even and it's not just a legal issue, right? It, it's not just a legal issue. It's a, it's a, uh, yeah, honestly, it's a fascist issue. If you look at the true meaning of fascism, it's a matter of yeah. taking private institutions and putting them in uh, um, cahoots with the government to force certain things to happen. And we're seeing that everywhere now. It's not just with, with COVID, right? It's, it's a number of different things and that's what we're moving toward. But uh, um I think you're right. I think the agency needs to be there and people need to be able to choose, find their own information and, uh, and make their own choices on this. So, well, thank you, Greg, for, you know, and again, I, I'm on a soapbox, but let me tell you something. I find it horrifically wrong that family members couldn't be at the bedside of a dying family member. I think that's outrageous. I, I think that's horrific. And people are put in a room with no windows, so often without food, been given a protocol drug that had a 50% failure rate in its testing, and that was the only thing they could do? Nonsense to me. That is not what agency is all about. And uh, we're seeing people separated from their families. They're being persecuted. They're being prosecuted because they're choosing, making a choice as to what they put in their own body. Give me a break. Where have we gone that we're willing to tolerate that? And so my effort is primarily, let's let the truth of whatever it is come to the light of day and then let everyone, free thinking people, decide for themselves what is important to them and what's important to their family. This idea that, oh, you're going to spread it to everybody in the community and all that stuff, that's hogwash. It's not true. You know, Omicron spread because it was a, you know, like a case of the flu. Uh, but the reality is, we don't even know what that what really happened. And we need to know where this came from, who was behind it, and why it happened, and what was their motive, and then what did they do. But it's ironic, if you want to go into the legal side of it, the virus was patented 20 years ago, the PCR, PC test was patented, and also the vaccine was patented before it all happened, a couple of years before. Uh, that's interesting. And even the people who were making the decisions for our country said, oh, and by the way, we're probably going to have a pandemic before Trump's uh, term is over. Really? 
So now they're prophesying from the regulatory bodies. Well, if you go back and you want to really see the legal work, go to prosecute now and read the legal briefs, read the patents. The patents are the most definitive things in law. And there it is shocking at what this has all been. And I'm sorry that it's the case, but the best thing you can do about yourself for what it's worth is support your immune system and, and be informed and live the gospel and depend on revelation to guide you in what you're doing in your life. Well, you sound like you're very passionate about the uh, about the COVID issue too. So, great. <laughs> hey, really appreciate your words, John, um, and for coming on the show. I'm sure we'll have you on again as we get more and more information and more and more studies that come in through uh, um, the proper channels. And uh, we'll be able to talk again and talk about some more science, but backing up uh, nitric oxide and the ingredients in Cardio Miracle. Appreciate it. Thanks so much, Greg.